All right, Mr. Demon Hunter with three cards in hand. Let's see you clear that board. What's up, noobs? I'm Greer. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. Today, we're going to be playing Soul Dragon Galakrond Warlock. That's too many words for a deck name. The goal of this deck is fairly simple. Clear the board with all of your removal tools, buff up your Galakrond, and when the board state is in a safe place, then you want to hit him with the Alex Straza, and then follow it up with the, uh, the super buff Galakrond, which hopefully pulls you a bunch of big spicy demons. Spoiler alert, the demons are not always big and spicy. And when you dump a board, whether it's with your devoted maniac, you know, your Galakrond itself, or your Dragon Blight Cultist. If you need to trade immediately, you have your animated broomstick, and you just sweep their minions into oblivion. This deck runs Crimson Hotheads, which is good synergy with your Nether Breaths and your Crazed Nether Wings. Also, it's a big taunt that helps you get to late game. And if you ever get low on health, you know, you got your synergy with your Nether Breath and your Moarg Artificer. Uh, and if you need to, you can Alexstrasza your own face. Before we get into this, I just want to say I am not a Warlock player by any stretch of the means. So before you get your keyboards ready and you want to be like, Oh my god, so many misplays. Nah. This channel is here for entertainment. So let's just all chill and enjoy some games, alright? Alright, let's pretend we know what we're doing. I think I'm going to toss the shield and keep everything else. Okay, Spirit Jailer on one. They're not trapped. They're my friends. Tap on two. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this. Forbidden rituals, you say? This is looking like if Soul Demon Hunter. Seek, Wait, Polkelt? Do Demon Hunters run Polkelt? So what is he gonna pull next? His Glaive Adepts into Lapidaries? Well, what I could do is I could toss out the Hothead, use the coin, and then get rid of this. You've got me fired up. Hot streak. And then smack him in the face. Uh. Wow, I really needed him to play something. Didn't give me any invokes, so I can't use this. That feels bad with nothing on the board, so I don't get synergy out of this. He's about to draw big, big damage. Oh, man. Is that my whole turn? One tap? One tap and chill? Alas, poor warlock. Sick, dude. So what did he just get? Two one mana glaive bounds and a one mana lapidary. Holy ball sack. All right, so shield of Galakrond it is. Act your scale. And then spirit jailer. So I think I soul shear this. Smack it with an imp. Invoke Galakrond again. And then smack him with an imp. If I can heal through his damage. I think that's really the only way I win. Unless he just OTKs me right here. That's just a casual 15 damage in one turn, right? Just just a casual 15. Holy fuck. Okay, so definitely the Moarg. Into the nether. And then I just uh, trade into that, right? And use the, uh, the reload. Like, maybe that was his big turn. 
right? The 15 damage turn. Let's hope he can't do another one of those turns. So I have to get rid of that. So I think maybe I Netherwing into Scholar. He's running Megtheridon. Okay. So I think I Dragon Blight Cultist. Birds of the Fallen. Plague of Flames this. Then draw some cards. Yes, I will destroy them. I don't want to tap here because I'm getting dangerously low on health. I know he only has three cards, but one of those could be the other uh, skull. I'm thinking he's running low on minions, right? Like this deck is mostly weapon weapons and buffs. He's already used two lapidaries, two glaive bounds, so I think this is another safe plague of flames. And I think I pop out the crimson hothead. You've got me fired up. And I can use this next turn if he lays a minion. So that had to be his last source of damage, right? So I can just Alex my own face. I bring life. Hot streak. He can't have much left. I mean, he's got four cards left. They're not trapped. They're my friends. Okay, so I definitely think it's safe to uh, Galakron this turn. So I'm gonna get rid of this thing with that. Oh, no, we're cooking. We get a taunt, we smack him in the face, and then pop down Galakron. And smack him in the face with this. All right, Mr. Demon Hunter with three cards in hand. Let's see you clear that board. That's so many soul fragments. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna toss everything except for the invoke. So I, you know, hopefully get more invokes. Also a Spirit Jailer early is really good. Ooh, the top deck Spirit Jailer. I'll take it, man. They're not trapped. They're my friends. Do I wanna waste the coin on this? Or do I just tap? I think I just tap. Yeah! This will break you. I could just get rid of that because I mean, he's not gonna play a lot of minions. This is Bomb Warrior, obviously. So I'm just gonna get rid of this off the board, I think. That was an awkward blade dance. So that's good. I must choose. So I think I'm just gonna keep playing on curve here. Devoted Maniac seems good. Trade this in here, and then smack him for three. Oh. 
Shield of Galakron, maybe? Might as well. I will act as your scale thrust. I think because of the way that Warlock Galakrond works, his brawls will ultimately be useless, right? Because most of the time, he's just going to be brawling 1-1 uh, one -one imps. I think I just smack him in the face and ignore this. I mean, he's got to get through the taunt, right? His will be done. I mean, do I want to float six mana? Not really, but maybe I just uh, get a spirit jailer, get the fragments. My then I could probably just tap. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I think we soul share this. Pay for that. Do I even care about the 3-4? I just needed the, uh, you know, to proc the death rattle so he doesn't have an upside if he wants to brawl. I think I just drag him like cultists and tap. And then I just smack him in the face. Like, I don't play a lot of Warlock, these days anyway, so I'm not sure, like, about this matchup. I'm hoping I can heal through all of his bombs, but I really don't know. Okay, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this with the uh, Scholar here. Forbidden rituals, you say? Gonna pop down the hothead. You've got me fired up. And maybe I coin tap to activate the taunt. Now we're cooking. That's one bomb. This will break your heart. Yeah, this is definitely not looking good, huh? Especially considering I didn't pull any of my nether breaths. And since I have three bombs in deck, I really don't want to pull three cards. Oh boy. Okay, maybe I devoted Maniac. Then I Plague of Flames. I'm dead anyway if I pull a bomb. So I think tapping here is fine. And there's the bomb. Sick gameplay, dude. Impressive. You win this okay, I'm gonna toss Galakron for now, keep the rest. Spirit Jailer on one. I think I'm gonna coin out the cultist for the invoke. I wonder if there's a game that exists, like one match so out there somewhere where Warrior doesn't have like the perfect removal answer in hand. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna keep going with the uh, invoke here. Might as well go Shield of Galakron. Yeah. So maybe this baits out a brawl. Or the other Blade Dance. Blade Storm. Blade Dance. Now that that's Demon Hunter. What a card to win the brawl though, am I right? 
Okay, so we're smacking with this one. Dumb. And uh, maybe I put out this one. Yes, yes, I will destroy them. Yeah, and then we just chill. Double coerce. Holy shit, dude. This guy does not like being contested at all. All right, chill out, bro. I keep drawing soul fragments, so this I feel like is just never gonna be active. Uh, maybe I just toss out the hothead. You got me fired up. And then nether breath. No, we're cooking. He's not gonna let any minions, so I am gonna toss out the broom just to deny him a good blade storm. Okay, so maybe I toss out the Moarg. Hit him with Soul Shear. And I guess hit him with the other Soul Shear. I'm pretty healthy, so I can probably tap. Okay, so I think the play is to toss out Militia and Nether Breath. So smack, smack, Nether Breath. This will break you. This is not looking good. Yes, yes, I will destroy them. Think I trade here. Oh. And then hit him in the face. And then throw down the taunt. You will act as your scale if I draw bombs here, I'm fucked anyway, so. Maybe he uses brawl. Does he not have an answer to this? Oh my god, do I actually get to win against a bomb warrior? He does have a brawl. He was just BMing. He was just BMing. Well, Galakrond is my only play here. So many bombs in my deck. So here we go. All right, so I need to not pull all the bombs this turn. Don't pull 40 bombs. Don't pull 40 bombs. Oh my god. This game is stressing me out. <laughs> Smack him here. Hit him here. Do one of these. Eternity will not be kind to your soul. Because fuck Bomb Warrior and everything it stands for. You are too late. His return is not. Eat my fucking asshole. So in my last video, I was playing kind of a meme deck and here's a piece of advice. Don't play meme decks on the ladder because this is what happens to your rank. So I do not like this deck at all. Uh, I've tried for 
hours to get footage to use and I got like two games out of 50 bajillion. The current meta decks are just too good and there's not really any place for this deck right now, I don't think. I think I can safely say that I will never be playing Warlock in the foreseeable future. So, GG.